Okay, we're back. Now we stopped at point two, and we now we're going to go. We've started at A. We went down to one. We went from one to two, and now we're going from two to point B. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that in a different color too. Whoops! My blue marker fell. That's not good. Let's let's do a pressure analysis from two to point. B. Actually, that's, that's kind of light. We'll, we'll just use the classic black. Our equation, well, let me rewrite this, is delta P is equal to negative gamma delta H. Okay, so we'll do our final minus our initial, right, from B, or from 2 to B, so B minus 2 is equal to, we're in water now, from traveling from 2 to B, we're in water, so we'll do gamma of water, which is negative 9800 newton meter cubed, times our final distance from our datum, which is negative 1.3, minus our initial. So at point 2, we're at negative 0.5, negative 0.5. Okay, we get pressure of B minus pressure of 2 is equal to, multiply all this out, we get 7840. Okay, we find out that pressure of B is equal to 7840 uh, Newton meter squared plus P2. Okay, now we have this. We have this down here, and we have this, okay? And what they wanted in the original question is what's PA minus PB? What, what's that quantity equal to? Well, let's figure it out. PB is equal to 7840 plus P2. So PB is equal to 78. 40 plus P2. What's P2? It's negative 15,288 plus P1. Okay, so plus negative 15,288 plus P1. What's P1? Well, up here it's 10,780 plus P of A. So we'll substitute that into P1. We'll get PB is equal to 7840 minus 15,288 plus pressure at 1, which is this. So plus 10,780 plus P of A. Let's subtract P of A. You get PB minus PA is equal to all this, which I believe is 3,332 newton meter squared, okay? PB minus PA. They want PA minus PB. So what we can do here is factor out a negative to make it PA minus PB is equal to 3, let's, let's change this to kilonewtons per meter, 3.332 kilonewtons per meter squared. So PA minus PB is equal to negative 3.332 kilonewtons per meter squared. And that's our final answer.